Good morning, I'm John Kenneth Habershaw and I'm at Southampton Boat Show 2023. I'm the skipper of Pop It um, from Sofa Sailboat, a 50 year old Leisure 17 which we rescued from the Nettles and uh, in 2024 we're going to sail it across the Atlantic all in aid of Macmillan, Mind, St Helena's Hospice and MS UK. So we've made quite a lot of few modifications to Pop It. Um, she's obviously designed as a coastal sailor but we're doing something a little bit more extreme. We've taken the original uh, three millimeter chain plates and we've been upgraded those to six millimeters and these are all laser cut 316 stainless steel um, and where they're attached inside the boat they've been reinforced with kevlar and carbon as well to prevent tear out um, you see our stem head fitting is a lot larger than the original please excuse the lack of bolts we've just put this on for the show um, We've glassed up our windows, so it had five porthole windows before. They've all been glassed in with epoxy front and back, um, so they're incredibly strong. Um, our keels, um, where they are internally, where our keel bolts are, we've put um, extra, extra mini bulkheads in and strengthening in to avoid the flex in the hull. We've also put in a collision bulkhead in the four peak. Um, extra bulkheads here under the companion way and extra bulkheads under the lazarette and if you just like to peek over the top you can see our, our modified companion way hatch um, which is completely watertight so you won't be sailing alone no uh, i'm joined by Far faris collins he joined the team this year he's a former commonwealth uh, gold medal power lifter he's got no sailing experience at all um, so he's really coming from the ethos of sofa to sailboat, much like couch to 5k. And you've got sailing experience? Uh, I myself, I've been sailing in the North Sea for about 33 years, um, and I'm a marine surveyor and a marine electrician, so my whole life is boats. Yeah, and, uh, and so you feel confident that this will make it across the Atlantic? I've spent probably thousands of hours studying other small vessels, shanty boats um, and ocean rowing boats and um, I've taken a lot of the modifications from all of those and put them into pop it. Um, I work with ocean rowers as part of my day job um, so I'm, I'm integrating a lot of those technologies into this build. Um, basically because of a small size everything has to be miniaturised or everything has to have two uses. Um, we have to take a water maker because we cannot carry enough water for the duration of a trip which is going to be about 40 days. Um, and with some really cool guys from Z Spa, um, we've redesigned the rig, we've gone up to rig sizes, so we've redesigned all the chain plates and all the internal bulkheads and structure to be able to accommodate that. Um, the other main thing that we've done is we've modified the companion way with a Lumar 70 storm hatch, um, so she could be made completely watertight if it needs to be. And is there a personal reason for those charities? Um, my we've lost a lot of family members to cancer and i think everybody has um mind the mental health charity is particularly important especially after covid um, the nhs is it's on its knees and, and they do such um, a good job and that's my own personal journey with mind as well msuk um, support my mother-in-law and st helena's hospice is a, a very nice uh, yeah. charity I based in colchester my hometown yeah. and so um december 2024 you're setting up that's right yes um our sail plan is uh, from tenerife to antigua following the traditional trade wind route it's 2600 nautical miles um at our hold speed of about three and a half knots it's going to take us about 35 to 40 days and what are you going to do once you get there um i think we're going to go into the yacht club find find somewhere to sit and enjoy a meal um, we'll be living on ration packs for, for the whole duration of the trip so being able to have someone else cook dinner for us i think is going to be the, the biggest thing and um, hopefully my family are going to meet them out there so i can give them a massive hug as well and then what will you do will you leave the boat there for, for break um the great people at geese line um uh they run that route almost by fortnightly um they're going to bring the boat back for us on one of their carriers to portsmouth um, and then hopefully we might do something else crazy with it. I'm thinking maybe the Arctic Circle um, as our next trip. Have you practiced with the, the freeze-dried free food? Or? Yes, we have, yeah. Um, so what we did initially is we bought one of everything 
and when we're having days working on the boat in the boatyard we've, we've slowly been working through them all given taste taste testing basically and we've, we've got our favorites and i i think it's uh, chicken tikka which is our favorite meal but it's not going to be very polite on the boat I don't think. <laughs>